The Design Your Own Form program provides you with the ability to customize different types of POS forms, including CHIT templates. Let's take a look at some ways we can customize CHIT templates. To customize a CHIT template, navigate to Point of Sale, System Setup, and Design Your Own Forms. For the form type, make sure you select CHIT Design. For the form, it is highly recommended to select the Jonas Sample CHIT Design and create a copy to work off of as opposed to starting from scratch, which can be more time consuming. However, if you do want to create a new design, you're more than welcome to and can select another form design. So we're going to go ahead and select our sample form. Just note that the sample chit design form cannot be edited or deleted. To create a copy of the sample chit design, click the Save As button and make sure the Save As form type is set to Chit Design. Then click Enter on your keyboard. Now we can enter a form code and click Enter. From here, you can optionally update your description. Then decide if you want to have multiples of the same sales item summarized into one line on the Chit by selecting the Summarize Chit by Item field. Selecting this feature will disable some choices in the details section, since things like comments or prep items reference individual items. Use the calculation field section. If you would like to create custom calculation codes for use on your design, these will appear as calculation fields in the left pane on the design screen. To add a new calculation field, select add another calculation or select an existing one to make edits to it. Use the CHIT data field to define the calculation field. In the calculation percentage field, set the percentage to be used as the multiplier of the CHIT's total amount. Select any of the fields at the bottom of the screen to exclude as a contributor from the total CHIT amount and thus the calculation. An example of a calculation field you may want to use is to list the recommended tip amount. So for example, 15% versus 18%, which can be listed right on the chit for you. Then click OK to save. Use the design section to open the form designer. The left side of the screen will contain all of the chit data fields, which will be separated by folders for header, details, and footer sections of the chit and your calculations will appear at the bottom. The right side of the screen is the CHIT template, which will already have all the default fields for you. To add a CHIT data field, simply click and drag it into the template and place it where you would like it to appear. Fields in the Detail folder cannot be used in any other section than the Detail section in the design of the CHIT while fields in the header and footer folders can be added to either the top or bottom sections of the chip. If you need to move a field, highlight the entire field, then right click and select cut. Then navigate to the area on the template you want to move the field to, right click and select paste. To delete a field, highlight the entire field, right click and select delete. To add text or labels to the template, simply place your mouse where you'd like that to appear and start typing. To customize a field, highlight or select the text and right click and select properties. Note that the available text format options will affect the entire row, not just the field, and will only work if your printer supports the options. Under the options and conditions section, you can use the numeric format field, which will only be enabled for numeric fields such as quantities or currency amounts, to enter the following characters. Use the suppress this cell if to condition the suppressing of a cell according to the element selected in the F2 lookup list and based on the logical condition applied. For example, suppress the field if the member is not eligible to pay specific state taxes. Click OK to save. 
If a field has any formatting applied to it, it will be highlighted in gray on the template. If you hover your mouse over that field, you will be able to see the formatting that has been applied. If you right click anywhere on your grid, you can choose to insert and delete rows or join or unjoin cells. As you go along, click the Save button to save the design of your template. Note that if you do click the Undo button, a prompt will inform you that the design will be restored to the last time you click the Save or OK button, and all changes since then will be lost if you proceed. Clicking the Test button will bring up your list of printers via Windows and allow you to print a test copy. It is highly recommended to print test copies as you edit the design so you can make adjustments along the way as needed. Once you are satisfied with the JIT design, click OK to save and close the form designer. Then click OK from the Design Your Own Form screen. If you do need any assistance with customizing the JIT template, please reach out to our support team for assistance. Now that you have customized the chit template and you would like to utilize it, you can assign it by navigating over to Point of Sale, System Setup, and System Parameters. And in the Use Configurable Chit Form field, use the F2 Lookup list to select the chit template and click OK to save. You can override these parameters on a terminal by terminal basis by navigating over to Point of Sale, System Administration, and Terminal Setup. Select the Terminal ID, then select the CHIT template in the Configurable CHIT Form field, and click OK to save.